Hi guys, how are you? And welcome back to level 10 to the Premier with me, John, aka Obansuda, back in with Hallam. And I'm meant to be bringing you the end of the league game, the game that was going to win us the league. Um, I recorded it and everything like that, but just for whatever reason, it uh, mic didn't work, it just didn't record, so there was no sound or anything like that. Um, yeah, unfortunately not. As you can see, we did win the league. We actually won it six points clear in the end uh, over North Ferriby. Um, beat Hansworth there, who are now relegated to actually get win the league. So that weren't too bad. We had a few difficult games, I won't lie. Um, if I go back to the schedule, you'll see. And then we go down to, is it this season? Yeah, it is, isn't it? What season is it we want? Um, let's see, we want the... That's the season we're in now. That's the season we want. Uh, as you can see, look, we drew two all with Hansworth, uh, lost 3 2 to North Ferriby, and Bridlington uh, was a 1 all. Uh, really, Bridlington and Hansworth, we should have won, but we should, the, our defence was so leaky. Uh, North Ferriby was just a little bit too strong for us. So, apologies, I couldn't bring that. There's just no sound, and it's just, you know, it's me looking like a goldfish overall. But we did win the league. It did work out pretty well for us, even with this little bit of a bad run towards the end as we lost uh, players. But new season which means we've brought in a lot of new players and if I go to the transfers transfer history you'll see there we've brought in quite a few players uh, Lucas Gambling is the first one central defender we desperately desperately needed another one looks really good okay he's not good on the other ones but he's good with his head in he's tackling his markings not fantastic but he should do it really, at 19 years old he should do a fantastic job for us overall uh, got him on a free he came from Newcastle's youth as you can see there uh, but yeah looks pretty good Lewis John we got as well another central defender maybe not as good but he should be good for cover um, you know pretty decent heading decent ish marking and tackling uh, pretty good physicals not too bad in the old mentals as well I guess so overall yeah, he should do a decent job for us, just as a bit of cover. Andre Brooks as well, someone on the left. What felt we needed, again, another player out on the left. A youngster, looks good. Pretty good, decent dribbling. Could do a better crossing, but his passing's pretty good overall. He should be able to do a decent job for us. He's actually injured at the moment, but he's very quick as well. So I'm hoping he'll be able to do some little bits. Uh, we've got Sharif. Um, I'm not sure. Ab Ab Abdi Sheriff central midfielder looks really really good to be honest first touch is fantastic not bad passing technique and tackling so a bit more defensive maybe minded but yeah as that supporting midfield role he should do absolutely fantastic for us and at 20 years old he can improve quite a lot overall uh, we then got Sha Shanique Wilders Coles, or just call him Coles, striker from Swansea. It looks like if you look at that badge, overall good finishing, good first touch, good headering, should be a decent player for us, especially now we've got three or four good um, strikers. So overall, that should do pretty good. Let's see, was that Swansea that went to Witten, uh, 33 appearances, three goals, not too good, uh, but. He's probably not going to be the first choice, but definitely second choice. Will Lancaster as well, another central midfielder. Should do pretty decent for us. Again, we just need a little bit more in that central midfield. Good with his long shots. Um, not bad in his tackling and his passing as well. Pretty good physicals, pretty good mentals. He's very determined. Good work rate. I like him. I think he's a good player for an 18-year-old and should do pretty good. And then we've got Tom McGidley as well. Um another left back who just came up on my radar and looks like he was too good not to say yes to overall and uh, good tackling good marking again just looks like a decent defender out on the left and should do a decent job for us still looking at a couple other players but overall i'm quite happy with the squad we've got and uh who you know the players we've got as well as you can see a lot of the new players are good max harris is uh, the best from last season even though someone's trying to get in and Genze people are trying to steal as well he's obviously still a very good midfielder for us as well so overall I think we've got a decent good strong first team and not bad cover as well I think the likes of Moses and that um, will still do a really good job for us even though it's saying he's two stars because he's such a good player overall so yeah I'm pretty happy with that and everything uh, like I said we lost quite a few players as well but Overall, it's not done too bad. Right, there's a couple of interesting things we've got to talk about. The Vet victory. We're actually starting to see teams that we know the names of a little bit more. The likes of Glossop are in there. Lincoln United, Loughborough, Osset United, I've heard of. Uh, quite well-known uh, works up there as well. There's, you know, there's some 
AFC Richardson and Diamonds are the team I need to point out. Obviously, a team I did do a series with uh, only a couple of years ago, went on for about 100 episodes, uh, was a really fun series as well. And one of my local teams, uh, AFC Richardson and Diamonds, you know, a team I, I rushed the original Richardson and Diamonds is the team I used to go and watch as a kid and that sort of stuff. So, quite special that uh, we've got them there. Uh, are they still playing at where are they playing? Does it say? Can I see anywhere where it says? Uh, grass, ah yeah, Hayden Road. Just used to live around the corner from Hayden Road, uh, right next to uh, the school that's opposite as well, for anyone who's watching locally. Um, but yeah, we're in this league now. Uh, Sheffield uh, FC, who are our biggest rivals, actually got promoted, so we, we can't quite meet them this season. But overall, yeah, there's some good teams in there. It's gonna be, this is the first season. I'm not sure if we can get promotion. If I go to the season preview, we are actually near the top. Uh, with the players we've brought but it's going to be difficult there's some really good players in here you see there most of our um midfield seems to or defense sorry seems to be the best players but there's some really good players we've got to be really really careful because uh yeah some of these are going to be really difficult teams to play against and i'm not sure if we can actually get promotion we've had two promotions on the bounce if we can get a third that'd be absolutely brilliant but it's going to be blooming hard overall I, I think so anyway. Um, apart from that, though, there's not much else to do. Uh, Schedule-wise, we had quite a few. If I go back to this season, you'll see we've done quite well in the friendlies. Uh, I did some leagues and a cup and everything like that just to really bring some money in more than anything else. But you take away the likes of Bear and Bradford Blackpool, we're not going to beat them. They're you know, four or five leagues up above us. But Sheffield, who are a league above us, we beat 2-0. Parkgate are just below us. We uh, did pretty well. Melton and Traverse... Reversal, uh, whatever they're called, that uh, Sleaford we did well against. You know, we played, we had some good results against some of these teams. The likes of Brentwood should be a decent game for us. As you can see, we play Rushton and Diamonds not far away. I will probably bring that game to you because uh, that will be one of my sort of uh, special ones to really play at the moment. I'm looking forward to that one. Um, but yeah, overall, we've had a decent pre season, and because of those cups and leagues, it's helped our finances. We're up to 150k in the bank, which is absolutely fantastic. You can see having those cups and that just brought in so much money. It's it's unbelievable. It's it's broken really by having a couple of big sides come to you. How much money you can actually make? Um, we really do need the stadium stop getting expanded or stuff like that because um, we're just not bringing enough players or enough supporters in. You know, if we go back to the schedule, you'll see that we had a thousand people. That's the maximum we can get. We need to have two, three, four thousand people coming into these games. It would really help us. Obviously, we're averaging maybe three hundred fans on a home game. Um, so the first one is Stockbridge. I'll have to have a look and see what we get there, or Fisher even in the FA Cup. Probably more likely Stockbridge. But if we don't get, if we're only getting three, four hundred fans in, will they give me a stadium expansion? I'm not sure overall. Um, right, let's get into the game anyway. We'll see how we get on against Brentwood. It's going to be a difficult game, but a game we should win. Lancaster and Genze are going to be there. We're going to probably mix them two around because I feel they'll be a little bit better that way around. Uh, Blackford is out on the left. Moses on the right. Turner, Harding, pretty standard uh, front for four that we've had for quite a while. Just one or two players like Brooks are a little bit injured. As you can see, I've got a couple of players I'm still looking at as well. Uh, it's the joys of being non-league. We can look at players all season. Defence-wise, I think we look pretty strong. Trotman's probably the weakest one, but he's still a very good right midfielder. Uh, right, let's see how we get on against um, Brentwood, wasn't it? Yeah, someone like that. And if we, if we can actually win our first game of the season, it'd be absolutely fantastic if we can. Uh, let's hit the dressing room. We'll ask the assistant to do that. We'll give a passionate talk here and we'll say, uh, what can we say? Let's give the fans a good performance. It's not done much. We'll give them a passionate talk here. Try and get the morale up. Everything like that as much as absolutely possible. And let's see if we can win this game. Because it'd be absolutely, I really hope we can start off with a win. I mean, they're in the light blue. We're in the white and blue. Um, you would like to think that we've been maybe wearing our away kit instead, which would have been red, which would have been a lot easier to see. But we've seen starting off pretty well. Ten minutes gone, we've had a couple of shots, none on target though. And there's not much else really happening at the moment. Before there does become a highlight, remember to subscribe, to like, to um, follow me and all that sort of stuff. It really does help. And thank you to everyone who has been giving me support. Let's give these a quick little shout and demand a little bit more from them. We're absolutely all over and we just need to get a highlight there's absolutely no highlights at all at the moment we finally get a highlight and it's a goal um 
and I must have turned it off, but what's the goal then? Turner with the ball to Harding. Ngenze, what a shot by Ngenze. Absolutely fan bloody tastic. Right, let's have a look and see. Uh, uh, it's only on commentary. We want it on key highlights, I feel. Uh, that we want a little bit slower. And that's probably why there was no highlights then. Uh, Turner, oh, get in there. That is two hell of a goals. <laughs> Turner with the goal now as Trotman then passes it to Lancaster Trotman again. We're just playing it around nicely. Give it to Turner. He takes a couple of touches and then takes five as a shot. That's a hell of a goal. I mean, that's two long shots that... Um, yeah, you're not going to see much better than that, are you? Rushton Diamonds are losing as uh, we get the ball again. Can we get a third? Blackford's going to get this. Can he get a cross in? He can't quite get the cross in, and they keep the ball, but we nearly we do steal it back. Blackford now puts the cross in, gets it to Moses. 3-0. Get in there. That is what we are talking about. Good start for us. An absolutely brilliant start so far. 36 minutes gone, and we are absolutely all over them. Blackford now, well, that was a great cross by him. Moses towers above everyone and no one really challenges him and puts it into the back of the net. Absolutely fan bloody tastic. Uh, had him dropped down to 13th. We're freeing it up. Why would we be 13th if we're freeing it up? Uh, can we make it four here? Is that a penalty? It looks like Harding is going to take the penalty. And I mean, this will be fantastic. 4 0 at half time. Could we be looking for like a 6 or 7 or 8 something nil win? Hallam move up to first. That's more like it. That's where we like to be, up near the top end of the league. Um, 44 minutes gone. It's a good penalty, to be honest. The keeper goes completely the wrong way overall. But 44 minutes gone, we've fallen up now. It's started absolutely brilliant. We couldn't have asked for much more. We're absolutely destroying them. Uh, what can I say? I'm very pleased with reports. Keep it going, lads. That's all we can say to them. We'll let them carry on. Um, there's no need to do anything at the moment as they might get one back here as they do a corner But it goes all the way out for a frame. No, nope, they do keep it in and we manage to get a ball a long ball forward now to Blackford Blackford is by himself. Can he get across? He does to Harding 5 nil. get in there 5 nil. what a start to the season. It's the perfect start You can ask for a better start Blackford takes the ball pretty well here Gets, I mean, the player's too slow really to pick him up. Crosses it, you know, just uh, crosses it into the box, and Harding isn't going to miss that from that sort of area you would like to think. Um, I'm not sure if there's been an update. I'm going to have to check actually because, uh, yeah, we seem to be getting a few more lucky bits here. We've got another chance as Moses puts it in, or the Ngenze was not it? Uh, and it's just gone over. 56, 57 minutes. We might make one or two changes just to keep some fresh legs out there soon. Trotman. Gets the ball, puts it to Moses, back to Moses. Moses with a cross into Blackford. Blackford to Harding. Harding hits the post. It could have been six. So close. 60 minutes gone and they've got a chance here. Hardy with the ball for them. As they unfortunately blast against one of our players. Now Turner comes forward. Turner by himself. He chucks it to Blackford. Blackford with a cross in. Ngenze with the goal. 6 nil. Get in there. That is just another day at the office for Engenze. And oh, that's an absolutely brilliant start. I mean, I wouldn't have expected this 6 0 against Brentwood. I was expecting we could win it, but not 6 0. And there's still 30 minutes left to go. Uh, what is going on here? Have I found the, the best team I could possibly find? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, look at that. I mean, Max Harris is the only one on the seven, and that's because he hasn't had anything to do pretty much all game. Uh, but the front ones are no Blackford's been injured. Right, we're gonna have to sub him. Uh, who can we bring on? Uh, Turner can go out on the left, and we could bring on Sharif or Curran. We'll bring on Sharif, but we'll drop him back into midfield in a second as we get through this corner first and they do get the ball away we'll wait for the highlight to finish and then i will make the tactical change uh as hardy comes forward but good defend no that's not a free kick don't tell them what what that wasn't that bad surely uh right, you're gonna have to come back here unfortunately now that might solve that issue a little bit um but that's not good news for us overall i can't believe he got a red card for that i really can't right what else can we do um all right we're gonna go to balanced um i mean there's only 20 minutes left to go they ain't gonna score that many goals are they uh moses is looking tired 
no one really can play out on the right though that is the only issue we do have um so i think moses is gonna have to stay there we'll bring on lewis john there and we'll leave it at that for now and let's just see if we can just see the game out it'll be absolutely fantastic if we can do that uh right what do we want to do um we do clear the ball there team instructions waste a bit of time pass into space and let's see if that will just you know give us a little bit of a breather every now and then and we can just see out the game with 10 minutes left to go uh what's going to happen here brown with the ball they swapped their goalkeeper because i'm sure it weren't brown before i'm gonna have to check that uh right we do collect the ball here and Genze gets it up to hardin hardin might get a chance he misses it he could have made it seven um did they get their goalkeeper i didn't check that in i didn't see it in time uh corner to them as they get a couple of shots they do get a consolation goal 82 minutes in Cameron Brody with the goal and we just didn't defend good enough to hear we, we we blocked it once but we couldn't block it the second time Harris should have done a little bit better near the post but we're still winning by quite a way at the moment uh, the highlights keep coming too thick and fast at the moment as Moses picks it up but we haven't got that body there to pick the second ball up and it's a ball forward to Hardy Hardy with the ball he comes in he takes a shot it's a good save by Harris and I think we're going to go cautious now and uh, let's just see if we can see out the last of this um, corner to them they put it in we do clear it but what we do get Engenze then clears it all the way up to Harding Harding with the ball what's he going to do here can't get past one but it's fallen nicely for him in the end Lancaster with the ball gets it to Moses Moses now cuts inside a little bit to Lancaster who launches it all the way out to the left and it's going to go out for a throw in uh, yeah I thought they did swap their goalkeeper up, but it doesn't look like they did actually uh, maybe I thought it was Splatford maybe was their goalkeeper but we win the match 30 or 29 shots 14 on target 10 off target overall not too bad a good start for us uh what can i say passion i'm very pleased with how you've done you um assertively i'm disappointed you got sent off what do you mean seem confused you got sent off you idiot uh well, i don't get that myself but a great start to for the season for us absolutely brilliant we couldn't have asked for much more than that overall uh yeah that's absolutely gone better than I would have expected um, we know which game we're going to come back for it's going to be the uh, Rushton and Diamonds game we're going to come back for that it's not too far away but I really do want to play that game because it's uh, a little bit special for me oh, you're out for three weeks so I leave that to the physio there six of the best from Hallam uh, Gambin impresses on debut right Hallam has a hasting defeat Trotman banned for one match um, Apparently it was justified. We're gonna to have to maybe look for a right back because we haven't got another one really. And Trotman accepts he's fine. Uh, right, competition wise, one game gone. We are obviously uh, top, pretty decent goal difference already. And we are gonna come back for the AFC Rushton and Diamonds game, which isn't too far away. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please remember to like subscribe all that sort of stuff it really does help if you haven't subscribed to me come and subscribe to me um it's been a pleasure i will see you on the next episode bye for now